Hey, what's going on everybody? It's about 2.30, I'm at the condo. I'm gonna head, I think it's less than a mile walk over to O'Shea's Tavern from my condo here and uh, meet up with one subscriber who arrived into town and maybe my buddy will show up. So let's head on over. Hopefully it's, uh, it's not raining anymore. It was raining about an hour ago. So let's uh, see how it goes. And I could cut down on my trip with uh, one of the motorbikes, but I take every chance I, I can get to walk a mile or two or five or six miles out walking around shooting some of these soy videos. Zero traffic on my soy 26 today. That is very unusual. I've did a couple of meetups in the Prom Pong area at O'Shea's and uh, Stella's. Maybe we'll do that again in the future, but hit me up if you're coming into town and you want to grab a beer. I'm here, eh, I'll call it 75% of the time. I'm on the road often, but if we are both in the Prom Pong area at the same time, yeah, I'm glad to sit down and, and talk Bangkok. I'm no expert, I'm not gonna be able to uh, help you find a condo or help you get your nano for retirement, but we can we can talk about it. I'll at least tell you my experiences. Maybe uh, give you a little bit of information. No more than you're gonna find in, in these videos. So take a look at, and use the search bar on my channel. I pretty much did a video on uh, most of the soys off Sukhumvit and all the other major areas. Do a little armchair shopping before you get over here. I try to answer most every uh, comment a person leaves. The only thing I ask is, uh, well, keep it simple. Don't uh, ask me, well, how, how do I get a nano for retirement visa? I mean, that's a pretty, pretty detailed answer that uh, I'm not qualified to give that information. I, I can tell you what worked for me or if you're having a little hiccup, maybe I can uh, smooth that over for you. I'm not... Uh, pretending to be any kind of expert. I'm just a, a person trying to pay it forward a little. And if I can help somebody get past maybe one little wrinkle that is confusing them, because I've did it three times, yeah, I'll certainly do that. But the only thing is when uh, you leave a comment and I answer you, do not answer my answer, if that makes sense. Start a new thread. Half the time I'm answering these comments and sometimes it's, uh, you know, 30 minutes a day of comments here and there. Like when I jump on the train, I'll answer comments, but YouTube does not show me a continuation of the thread on mobile. And I'll say 75% of the time I'm on mobile. So if I leave an answer on that same video, just ask a fresh comment if, if you want to continue the conversation. I'll see that on mobile. But I'll be honest, 90% uh, of comments I get can be answered. If you just go to my channel search bar, I probably already made a video on it. And somebody will ask me a question and I'll just say, uh, yep, been there, done that. Here's a link to the video. And three or four minutes later, we're at the top of Soy 26 at Sukhumvit. We're gonna take a quick left turn I'll use the Prompong train station to go, go up and over the busy street. And then it's another three minute walk up to Soy 33 slash one. Ah, correction, I got the rare green lights on the crosswalk. Still, green light or not, be careful. These motorbikes are gonna come zipping through here. They kind of have a system, red light or not. If you go on the outside here, it's okay to hit the red light. So yeah, even on the green light, Watch for the motorbikes, watch for the cars. That light uh, doesn't turn green often, so I rarely stand there and wait for it. I'll just go up and over on the train. Now that's one of the few crosswalks and uh, go, don't go signs that I know of in, in this area. Nine out of 10 times, you're gonna wanna go up and over Sukhumvit at a train station. Here's the beautiful Marquis Sokumbet building. Coming up to Soy 39 on the right, you can go, it's quite a ways down, maybe a, a kilometer and you'll be at the uh, water taxi station. 
on the left here is Prom Punk BTS station. And right under the train station is one of my favorite local spots to eat, Imchon. Good, affordable, cheap Thai food. Smoothies. And right there where that van is, you have Imchon on either side of the alley. Here's Imchon. We were in here the other week and um, I was with Boone and she was um, overhearing the conversation. All the ladies were at this one guy's table. I guess he was a TV star in uh, Cambodia, I believe. They all knew who he was. And on the other side of the street, that is the top of Soy 24. And on the corner and attached to the BTS station is the Emporium Mall. And you walk across the courtyard over here to the M. Courtier Mall. Or you can walk the skywalk above Sukhumvit, short distance down to the M. Sphere Mall. All three malls, it's now called the M District. And this is, I'll call it light traffic. It can certainly get heavier than this. This is a capital city, so there's always going to be a fair amount of tra traffic, especially between uh, Nana and, say, Ekamai. It, it's almost 24 hours in this area. And I see this beautiful car often. He must live in the neighborhood, or she. Here's the number 38 non-air conditioned bus. Jump on at the bus stop. The change person will come over, that, that lady standing there. She'll make you change, but make her life simple. Keep some 10 baht coins handy. The fare is normally 12 baht on the non-air conditioned. On the AC bus, they'll ask you where you're going, and it depends on the distance. But from here up to Anut, where I used to live, it used to be 18 baht on the air conditioned bus. Across the street where you see the Ikea sign, that's the Emsphere Mall, and just below that is Benchasiri Park. 11 acres right in this Prompong area. Nice little jog path. They have a community pool. I'm not sure, I think you need to pay two or 300 baht a year and then a certain amount each time you go swim. And unfortunately, the Texas chickens all went out of business. I know my buddy John said the branch up at Asok Matri turned into a McDonald's. So we'll see uh, what's going to happen with this location right at the base of uh, Prom Pong BTS. Where you see the flags across the way, that's a little glimpse of uh, Benchasiri Park. No dogs. If you want to take your dog to the park, you'll have to go to Benchakitty Park up near Terminal 21. And even there, it's a designated dog park where they still have to be kept on a leash. Here's my destination. You'll find the Robin Hood Tavern right on the corner of 33 and a half. Take a quick right turn. Not even a one minute walk away is O'Shea's Irish. That's where I'm heading today. And then just down the street, you'll find the Royal Oak, which is a sister property to O'Shea's. That's another fun bar. I, I wanted to say on Wednesday is their popular trivia night. This is looking down 33 and a half. They also have wood ball karaoke. Super popular with uh, the Japanese tours. Here's where I'm heading, O'Shea's. If you get here in the later evening, go on up to the fifth floor. They have a nice little rooftop bar up there. I believe they're doing bands most Friday evenings. We are still hanging out at O'Shea's. It's 8.30 p.m. I arrived at 3. This is Mike. That is too many San Miguel lights. And we are heading off to Imchon to get a bite to eat. And, and then these boys, you want to go over to Stella's, right? I think we're having over to Stella's bar. Stella, I just shot her a text. She said she's heading over to the bar about uh, 9 p.m. So we'll go say hi, and I'll see if I'm still alive. There's Johan. Yeah, these guys are a bad influence. We are walking off, heading over to Imchon. Get a quick bite to eat. And then the plan is to head over to Stella's. We'll see if it's going to happen. It's still early, but 
And again, we uh, met up at 3 p.m. I think it's about 8.30. Just a typical evening here in Bangkok, hanging out with buddies, new friends, trading sea stories and different travel stories. Kevin right there, my new buddy, he's an interesting guy. And here we are at Imchon, right under the uh, BTS Prom Pong. Cheap, tasty food. We're gonna quick get a quick bite here and then uh, walk the short distance. This is Soy 39 and a half, I don't know. Just 10 feet up is Soy 39. We're gonna go up to Soy 41 and then duck into Stella's Secret Bar. We are ordering up some food. I am taking a half a break. I had a few too many beers over there at O'Shea's, but you can get uh, a tall bottle of beer saying, what do I see over there? Leo's. I know they have towers of beer. Really incredible smoothies, but yeah, I'm going to take a, a half a second of break here. Before we head over to Stella's. Good time hanging out with the guys, good food. Going on 9 p.m. No rain so far, so it's a nice evening. And I am stuffed. Thai food, very good and cheap. We had a couple of dishes. And now we're walking five minutes over to Stella's. Maybe I'll have one more beer, but uh, my mission is to drop these guys off, introduce them to Stella, and get the heck out of here. We'll see how that goes. We walked over to the alley in between Soy 41 and 43 here on Sukhumvit. The Tops Market is just to the right. And here's Stella's. We beat her here, but she'll be here soon. Hi, guys. It is still super early. It's like 9.30, but yeah, good little hangout. Come on down, say hi to Stella. Good little expat bar. Everybody's welcome. I mean, it seems to attract a lot of expats. All right, so there's my good friend Stella. So thank you so much. Stella, say hello. Welcome to Stella's Secret Bar. Come on down to Stella. She'll help you out with your visa. Visa and real estate. Real estate? Oh, the MotoGP is up in Buriram this week, right? Yeah, retirement and, uh, yeah. I need to go stay at Stella's mom's house to go watch the MotoGP. Yeah, soon, soon. Because the hotels are all sold out. Yeah, maybe four. We need a booking. For sure. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Come on down to Stella's Secret Bar. Cheers to you. You have a great evening.